So there is a call to tune into the setting sun. The period from the setting sun all through the night to the rising sun in the early morning. And to whatever time you can find to nurture, to sit with that beautiful crescent moon by Venus at um, in the west and to sit with that symbol in the sky as the sun sets and to then also appreciate the beauty of the night sky and the darkness of the night and in the morning to be around when the sun rises to feel into the coolness of our earth to feel into the softness of our earth, to feel into the stillness of the earth. We have an opportunity and a privilege right now to be able to, to nurture that part of our reality. Because mostly our activity and our musing and our sharing and our happens in the daytime when the sun rises. But what about the beautiful, beautiful night sky? So there's something very interesting happening in my musings of not wanting at all to nurture the um, the radio anymore. Because uh, when I was in the car driving around um, the country, I was listening to radio and I'm very grateful for it. But now I, I haven't been listening to the radio for like since I've came back home. Um, I'm not like really interacting with the the media sources because I want to find out what this is and I am being guided on a magnificent journey that brings me to tears because of this word that I've been gifted by my beautiful sister Anya the last words that I received from the city is unconditional trust and I have had this interest in the shamanic astrology mystery school which is an astro astrology school that works with the stars in a way that is so alive and so real and so ancestral and it's not just about mapping charts and like it's about actually physically experiencing the night sky and I have enrolled in a um, in four webinars that, um, that the, he is Daniel Gumario and Kayleen Castell are currently doing and what a thing they've sent me as part of the the package that I bought they've sent me a webinar that they did in 2017 and they had these key points of the of the um, turning of the ages of going into the age of Aquarius March 2020 being one of the key elements the reason is that currently if you wake up before the sun rises you're going to see something absolutely magnificent in the sky and in the east before the sun rises you're going to see jupiter saturn and mars you can't see pluto but pluto is there as well Four planets conjunct or moving and playing around in uh, the sign of Capricorn. And what I have been finding through this amazing information is that this has been foreseen for a long time as a time that assists the time of change uh, into the age of Aquarius, into the age of um, the Kali Yuga, into the tri um, uh, the Tripava Yuga, I, I, I speak under correction, I will, I will say, say that now. So the Yugas are like a Vedic way of counting the procession of the equinoxes, the 26,000 year cycle that we go through, the great year. And um, that 26,000 year cycle has different stages. Um, there's the Golden Age, which we are very mm -hmm. far from. And then there's the Kali Age, which stands at the opposite side of the Golden Age. And we are now emerging out of this, um, only now emerging out of the Kali Age. And so we've got a long journey before, we've got about 12,000 years before we get to the Golden Age. Um, 
but this time is so essential in the shift it's happening it's true and it's real it is so freaking real the the darkness and all that we all that we've been conditioned to believe will not prevail it will not prevail so what's happening in the sky in the east is that uh, this the this play in these conjunctions between these planets Jupiter especially Jupiter Saturn and um, Pluto is this Saturn represents the operation manual it represents like the current actually the operation manual and currently and in all its different timelines but currently it's focusing on the operation manual that we have on our, on our planet that we're currently following, which is um, the system, the system that's around us, the thing that we are like in every day um, supporting. And now we have this opportunity, we, we are having this opportunity to um, not be in the system and we're seeing things, we're seeing, oh my God, what is that thing? What is that thing, the system that I, we are supporting every day? So it's the deep unconditioning of falling back into the beauty and the lessons and the teachings of nature. So Saturn, the old operation system or the operation system. Pluto, the great composter. Whenever you see Pluto in an aspect or a conjunction, um, a conjunction being an aspect, it means it's composting something. So Pluto is here to compost the current operating system or the operating manual. Jupiter comes in and it amplifies what is happening by a hundred. It's the largest planet. So what it does is, what is basically happening is there is this massive amplification of the composting of the current operation um, manual. And here we are. I am so grateful for this. I am, um, even if we are surrounded and there are many, many people who don't understand this, who many people who just give in to the same things that over again, wash your hands, stay at home, all these um, things, then, um, and even if they just say, yeah, even if the, the, these people are saying the same things over and over again, they're giving in to the fear, keep your light keep standing in your truth keep working for the greatest good of all this is the beautiful saying of joanna macy as well even if it looks like there is no hope everything is gone everything is lost you keep working your good work you keep walking your good walk because we don't know what's going to happen listen to her shambhala warrior prophecy when all hope is lost when it seems like there is nothing further to do the Shambhala warrior will come along. And the Shambhala warrior doesn't carry an insignia. He doesn't wear a, a uniform because he is each and every one of us. So I feel very, I feel exhilarated by this experience. I feel, I feel, I feel, oh, I, I, anyway. Thank you for being a part of the Lunar Theater. Thank you for being a part of the Sister Circle. We are working together.